Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be Crew's four month update. So this is baby Crew. He just turned four months old on December 31st. And I actually have a lot to update you guys on. If you follow my vlogs, my last vlog was about the pediatrician and his four month well baby checkup. And a lot has happened. So um, I'm gonna back it up a little bit and talk about when I took him into the doctor at three months old. He had a lot of um, spitting up, like tons of spitting up, and a lot of you guys had thought maybe he had acid reflux. And so I took him in, and um, the doctor said to go ahead and put him on Zantac, and maybe that would help with his reflux. And at the time, they had weighed him, and he was like, I wanna say 14 pounds and like seven ounces. And I remember thinking like, oh my gosh, like that is so big. Cal was never, Cal is my um, two year old, by the way, if you're new here. I was like, he's never, he was never that big at this age. And so they definitely weren't worried about him losing any weight with his reflux. And I was like super happy and excited thinking he was just gaining weight a ton and like super healthy. So put him on the Zantac and I really didn't notice much of a difference. The doctor said give it about two weeks and I want to say right after two weeks was Christmas time and everything just went crazy. We were out of town for like over a week and it's just like it became really hard to have a routine and giving him his medicine and everything. And at that point, like in the back of my head, I kind of felt like I don't really think it's helping. So I kind of just like wasn't too diligent and worried about it. And then when I told that to the doctor, feeling super guilty, um, she said it was totally fine that like if I hadn't noticed anything after two weeks there really was no reason to continue to give it to him so um he's not on that anymore and um, I took him in for his four month checkup the first thing they did was obviously do his height and weight and the nurse put him on the scale and he was like 12 pounds and two ounces and I'm like wait what I was like I think he's lo lost a lot of weight and so she like reweighed him and it was still 12 pounds and two ounces and I'm like okay so we did his checkup and the do I told the doctor, I was like, you know, he lost a ton of weight and she's like, oh my gosh, yeah, he sure did. And both of us were just like, not sure. Like, I feel like I would notice two pounds of weight loss on my baby. And I'm like, I don't really see it. You know, he's been super healthy. He has not gotten sick at all yet this whole um, winter, I mean, his whole life. <laughs> he has not been sick yet. He's not been like spitting up outrageously. He still spits up, but nothing that's like to the point where he's not getting his calories in. So her and I really couldn't think of the why he would be losing weight. So she thinks that maybe the scale was off and he somehow got weighed wrong, which I think could be definitely a possibility. Um, she did ask me about my milk supply and uh, it's like a sore subject because I had such an amazing high milk supply with Cal and I felt like I was um, down that same road with crew. You know, I was pumping a ton in the beginning. I was pumping like eight ounces in the morning at least. And um, the past, I kind of stopped pumping because I felt like, you know, there. I ended up with so much wasted milk. When I pumped all the time with Cal, I donated a ton and I ended up throwing out like tons of milk. So it's kind of a waste of my time and I just don't have that extra time to pump right now. So I've only been pumping about three times a week. And now that I, that this all happened, I started pumping more and I noticed that I'm only getting like two ounces when I pump, which is like terrifying to me. So I'm wondering if, if my milk supply is dipping, I'm not really sure. So I'm upping my lactation pills. I do take Plexus Slim. It's like this, uh, it's a pink drink mix and I swear that helps my milk supply and we recently ran out of it and like with the holidays I was super bad about taking that. So I think once I get that back in and start drinking that again, it'll help boost my supply. But I'm trying to pump now one to two times a day to get my supply back up just in case that that has anything to do with his weight loss. Um, but the main thing that the doctor thinks would help would be rice cereal. So I went ahead and got some rice cereal. She said, give it to him in a bottle before he goes to bed. So I, I've done that for two nights. The first night I accidentally got the wrong kind of rice cereal. I got it for ages six months and up. But I was like, you know what? I didn't have a chance to go back out to the store. A lot of people on Instagram answered me and said it was fine to give that to him. So I gave him that. 
um, mixed in with my breast milk in a bottle and he didn't even drink one ounce of it. Not even one ounce and he was like totally zonked out and like he wouldn't take it anymore and so I'm like all right I guess I'll just put him to bed so I just put him to bed and he woke up like five five hours later which was really typical he usually wakes up around like 1 or 2 a.m. and then like maybe three or four and then like five or six so he's waking up uh, about three times a night usually two or three times so um, my initial thought was when he turned four months old was that I was gonna start sleep training him and let him cry it out for just a little bit like I did one night and I let him cry for about three minutes and he went back to sleep and I didn't even have to feed him or anything. But I don't want to do that at this point since he could potentially be losing weight. I want to make sure that he is getting as many feedings as he needs. So if he does cry, I have been um, feeding him, bringing him into the bed and I'll get into like our, his sleeping situation too in a minute. But anyway, so she recommended rice cereal in a bottle. So. The first night it didn't go well. The second night, last night, he drank about an ounce of it. And I've been doing four ounces of breast milk mixed with cereal. And I don't know like if he just doesn't like the bottle or if he just doesn't drink that much. And I think he's pretty much like a snacker. Like I feed him on demand and I feel like I feed him every one to three hours. So I think that maybe he's just used to getting like an ounce or two every couple of hours versus like a big full feeding. And I think if he had a big full feeding, he would go down and sleep through the night. So that is my goal. I'm gonna try again tonight. I did get a new bottle. I don't know if it's gonna make a difference, but I got a Tommy Tippy Advanced Anti-Colic Gas, less spit up, less fussy, this kind of bottle. And then I got the size three nipples whoops I, they just fell down but they're the six month nipples and I got that because I want to make sure that the cereal fits through and that was the biggest nipple size they had so we'll see if that helps we'll try it again tonight um I really don't want to keep doing it though if it's not going to work because I honestly hate it what I've been doing is I've been pumping and then feeding him that fresh pumped milk and usually I have to supplement with extra milk that I pumped in the morning so I'm using a little bit of um, colder milk that's in the fridge and then I'm also using the fresh pumped milk and mixing it together to make about a four ounce bottle with the cereal and um, it's just not fun I just don't like it um, I don't like sitting here in this chair feeding him a bottle for some reason it just like it just doesn't feel right and I don't like it's just hard I don't know it's weird Okay, sorry, I just ran out of space on my card. Um, but anyways, if he continues to not take it, I may try to uh, spoon feed in the rice cereal with my breast milk, which I did with Cal. Um, just I just did that for fun because he could have it. Um, so we're gonna try it, but the one I went with is the Beech Nut Organic Oatmeal Whole Grain Baby Cereal. So let me know. A lot of you guys, I've been sharing this journey on Instagram so far, and so many of you have reached out and given me tips and tricks. So I like that's why I love doing YouTube and I love doing these kinds of videos because most of you guys that watch me are also mothers and you can relate and give me advice. And if you haven't gotten to this stage yet, then it can also be good for you to kind of learn and see what to expect. So that is pretty much how his appointment went. He did have his vaccinations as well. Um, but that was really the big thing was just the fact that he supposedly lost weight. Um, and I do believe he still has reflux. And she said, um, I'm supposed to call the doctor back in a week or two and let her know how he's doing with stuff. And there's always other um, medication options for reflux other than the Zantac that we tried. So, yeah, he just spit up. Um, so it's a, it's a journey and it's a work in progress, but you know what? It's okay. We will get it figured out. Okay. So next thing, um, bedtime routine and where he sleeps and everything. So I'm trying to get on a routine. Things have been crazy with the holidays. We were like sleeping all over different locations. So right now my routine is pretty much, I'm going to try to actually start Putting, getting things ready around 6 p.m. I was doing a lot of research and I'm wondering if maybe he needs an earlier bedtime. I've been aiming for 7.30, but I think he could maybe even do 6.30 because he doesn't nap a lot, so I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna start trying to get things ready around six o'clock, go pump, give him a bath, and be really diligent about giving him um, a good nighttime routine so that he's like used to it and what I've been doing is putting him down in here in his room in his crib 
um, with nothing in it. So that's what we've been trying. I've been putting him in just like little sleep sacks, nothing fancy, and it's just really not been working. And then he wakes up during the night and I will usually just bring him into my bedroom and we have the rock and play right next to our bed. And so I'll feed him in my, in the bed and then I'll lay him down in the rock and play. And then he sleeps in that for maybe a, a couple, two or three more hours. Um, I was really hoping the rock and play was the solution to him sleeping through the night, but it seems to not really make a difference, um, where he sleeps. And he's also, he was sleeping in the, do, uh, the halo bassinet with the dock a tot. Mm -hmm in the beginning and still same thing like there's really no difference so those are kind of the places where he sleeps i do let him co-sleep as well like in the mornings ah. we co-sleep um it's just easy for us and i can easily breastfeed him and we um go back to sleep and so we do that too but really there's no like good solution as far as sleep but i do want him eventually my goal is for him to be in the crib the entire night um because i'm totally comfortable with that that's what my first son did at four months we moved him to his crib and he was in there for the entire night and he did great um but he's a definitely a sleep fighter he fights sleep so hard he does not take naps hardly at all if we're in the car he dozes off um every time which we live pretty much at least 20 minutes from anything so he's always getting a you know a couple 20 minute naps in the car but other than that he does not nap i put him down in his crib the same time i put cal down for his afternoon nap um, which is like around 11 sometimes in the sometimes after lunch, but I Put him down and he wakes up like every 20 minutes and just cries so it's been so hard um, The only place I found that he'll take a nap is in his swing And it's only like in the late evening like after 5 p.m. Is when he will take a nap in the swing Otherwise, he just doesn't nap and it's so hard and I was looking on Pinterest and they were saying they need like three to four naps a day and I'm just like I'm lucky if he gets one good nap a day and he's only four months old So I know that that's probably the culprit of how fussy he is <clears throat> Which I didn't really say this yet, but he is so like he's just constantly crying <laughs> if he's not being held He's 100% crying if he's not eating sleeping or being held. He's crying. Um, he may go for about five or ten minutes, you know, sitting and looking at something or doing tummy time or like in a little um, uh, the extra saucer or something. But after about five to ten minutes, he's over it and he just starts crying. So it's been really hard. Um, I've said it before. It's the hardest four months of my life this has been. Um, he's also teething, I believe, because um, he's sucking on everything and chewing on everything. Um, I do also think that he's a little bit slower. Um as far as like his head support and everything than Cal was, which is no big deal. Um, the doctor didn't even mention like regular solid food yet. And I know with Cal, I had started him regular solids at four months. Like I started pureed foods and things like that. Um, but the fact that she didn't even bring it up and I don't really think he's ready for it. So um, we'll wait until six months at least. And I'm, I kind of decided that ahead of time this, this round, I was like, you know, I feel like I kind of started solids too early with Cal because they really just need breast milk for, or formula for like the first year and food is just for fun. So um, I do think though when he starts eating, it'll help with his fussiness, it'll help with him sleep longer. Um, so yeah, but anyways, hopefully the cereal helps. And uh, supposedly the cereal is supposed to help with reflux and all kinds of things. Um, so that's why we're giving it a try. And what else do I have on here? <laughs> I put mom guilt. <laughs> I do. I have total mom guilt with the second baby. Um, I was watching my video. You guys know I've made videos of all of Cal's monthly updates as well, my first son. And I was, I always kind of watch him right before I film um, crews to kind of like get a gauge for um, their differences and stuff and maybe what, what I want to talk about. And I just noticed that with Cal's updates, like I was so diligent about routines and playtime and tummy time and just like doing all these things and I was talking about um, homemaking like all of his uh, baby food from scratch and I'm just like so not that mom anymore and I want to be I'm just I just feel so busy now like toddlers really take over your life and you feel like you're just so much busier with your second um so I had a lot of mom guilt and I still kind of feel just you just feel guilty like when when your baby's not sleeping through the night when you're having to supplement with 
um, cereal when you're trying to, you know, there's just so many things that make you feel guilty and wondering like what you're doing wrong or like why am I not, why can't I make more playtime with, with this baby than I did with the first and it's just hard. Um. <laughs> but other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Um, as far as like clothes and everything, he's in three to six months. Um, he still fits in a lot of his zero to three. It just depends on the brand. Um, we're in size two diapers, but I'd like to move up to three. Um, as soon as we run out of size twos, he is leaking through the night um, a lot. So he doesn't wake up with like a leaky diaper. That probably doesn't help with his um, sleeping. So yeah, we've got a lot to figure out and a lot to work on. Um, but let me know if you know of any good schedules. I saw like on Pinterest, there's like example schedules. The only thing that I don't like is I love not having a schedule. I like to feed on demand and do naps and stuff on demand because I'm the type of person, you guys know, I, I go to the gym every day. I like to run errands. I like, I like to like be out doing stuff and I don't like to just sit at home and like do a schedule. Like I like to just kind of do things. I like to go out to lunch. Like, so it's just, I don't know. It seems like it might be a little bit of a, a stretch for me to do a really diligent schedule, but if there's like a lenient one, maybe we could try it. So I think that that is it. Do you want to say anything? You're blowing bubbles. You're you're cooing. You're babbling. You're got you've got a lot less hair than your brother had at this age. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Other than that, everything is really good. Um. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little four month update and I'll be sure to update you guys on this whole cereal bottle situation throughout all of my vlogs. So if you're not subscribed already, please do subscribe and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Hello. Okay, quick update in addition to the uh, four month update because that was filmed yesterday and things yeah. have already changed. Yeah. but. I am actually, I, so many people had commented um, about doing the cereal in a bowl, so we're gonna do that instead. And he's not taking to it too well yet, but I think he'll get used to it, and then that way we can still breastfeed at night. <sighs> do you like it? He kinda just, he kinda just like spits it back out. Um, but so we're gonna be doing that instead and then that way they can have dinner together at the same time oh, no. and then have baths together and hopefully get in a better routine. Um, also update on my milk supply. Since taking um, supplements and pumping more, last night I already could tell a big difference. I got like four ounces when I pumped instead of like one or two. And then today I had engorgement. So I'm definitely <laughs> back on track with my milk supply. Thank goodness and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye. Today and not tomorrow.